um, I can't give you that, but uh, I will say that, yeah, we, this is something that, of course, we would love to do. But the thing is, you know, if you do it, you want to do it right. And we want to wait until we have the right budget. You know, when we can, when we have the budget to get the right orchestra and do it really nice, then I think it makes sense to do it. You know, so uh, it might be something, you know, in the future. We've, you know, we've talked about this, of course. So, you know, you never know what can happen. <laughs> um, how did you have the idea to make a music video with real snakes? <laughs> Well, we um, we had you know a, a general idea <clears throat> of the video, and uh, we did it in Serbia. And uh, the guys over there they had the idea to do to bring the snake in. Now we did not know this when we went to do the video. We showed up, and this guy comes in with a snake. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> but it was a lot of fun. And uh, I think it makes the video look pretty cool. Uh, I read uh, in an interview that we should expect uh, the band's first uh, album to be re-recorded. So uh, although this product uh, is, was at a standstill at the time, can you tell us if uh, the idea has evolved? This was something we were talking about during, maybe after we did the Odyssey, we were mm -hmm. talking about right. possibly doing this. Uh, but then we kind of forgot about it. <clears throat> um, we think that probably it wasn't the best idea because we think the songs that we're writing right now are much better and to go back probably would not be the best thing to do but um, it's possible we could re-record a song or two and put it as a bonus track in the future something like that yeah, actually you, you did this with masquerade right? yes with yeah. masquerade we actually did do that and uh, it worked out well but um, as far as doing the whole thing over, probably not. Okay. <coughs> Do you have any news from uh, Rod Tyler? Oh, Rod. Uh, well, Rod Tyler, he lives in New Jersey in the USA, just like us. And um, he uh, occasionally, uh, you know, one of the guys in the band sees him, you know, because he hangs out at a lot of the clubs that we might go to. And uh, he's doing okay. Um, I haven't seen him in a couple of years. But, uh, you know, he used to come to hang out once in a while at some of these clubs and maybe jump on stage and do a song. He's a really cool guy, really nice guy. And, uh, you know, we all wish him well. But uh, as far as musically, I don't know if he's doing anything right now. Ah, okay. <coughs> and uh, have you thought about uh, inviting him to play uh, on stage with you for some special event? Um, we haven't really talked about that um, because we feel that maybe not many fans would really are that really familiar with the first album anyway. May, you know, maybe if it was like a special thing for like the fan club or something like that, it, it might be a better idea, but probably that won't happen. Um, some of your bandmates have made some side projects. Aren't you interested in doing it? Yeah, you know, I would love to do a, a side project. Um, I actually, uh, I did do a few side projects that probably not too many people even know about. Uh, in uh, 2004, uh, I got together with the singer of Hellstar, uh, and uh, we did a, a side band uh, called Distant Thunder. And this was in 2004. Um, actually, just before we left for the Dream Theater tour, I recorded bass for... Uh, a new band that's going to be coming out on SPV called uh, Apparatica, Apparatica, and uh, it's a you know just like a speed metal band with a, a girl singer. Um, but as far as you know, my own project, um, I am thinking about doing that, and uh, hopefully uh, maybe next year I can get that together. That would be fun. <laughs> okay. okay, it's now time for an uh, unusual question. So. What is the most shameful thing that you did while drunk? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you're asking the wrong person because I don't drink. <laughs> oh, okay. But, you uh, don't? <laughs> not, okay. I do. <laughs> I do? <clears throat> um, I could tell you maybe the most embarrassing thing that, that happens Why to not? me. <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I'm very uh, claustrophobic, okay? 
Um, and uh, when you know, in the buses, we have little bunks that you sleep in, and they're so small. So occasionally, <clears throat> you know, while I'm sleeping but almost awake, I start to think that I'm trapped. I like I think I'm trapped in a box, and I I start screaming and yelling, and I throw myself out of the bunk, and you know, all the other guys in the band are there pointing and laughing, you know. <laughs> But uh, and so that's pretty embarrassing. But that's the best I got for you. <laughs> okay. Last question. Do you have any, anything to say to those who won't uh, see your show tonight because of the Lyon or Manchester game. Or soccer game? <laughs> yeah, you know, there's been so many times that uh, we've played and there's been a football game. Um, this is something you can't avoid. But for everyone who uh, has decided to go to the game, or watch the game at home. Um, you know, we're sorry you couldn't make it tonight. Uh, we wish you were here, and uh, hopefully, when we come back, you'll have uh, you'll have no game, and uh, we can have a good time. <laughs> But it's okay. We're not mad. <laughs>